love the skin you're in. Welcome back, everyone. You're watching Issues and Answers. And our special guest on this week's program is Siobhan Cody, who is the Member of Parliament for St. John's South, Mount Pearl. And our next question comes from Michael Connors. Michael? Um, you, you said from your constituents this wasn't as big an issue, the gun registry. However, you do represent a predominantly urban district, and much of the backlash against the gun registry has been coming, against, uh, coming from rural areas of the country um, who resent the idea, or they, they say that they resent the idea that they're being treated as criminals for being hunters and farmers and who use guns as tools, not as weapons. What is your response to that? Well, first of all, I'm not as convinced as some others that this isn't, or there is an urban-rural divide on this. To be honest with you, I mean, Newfoundland and Labrador has the highest per capita gun ownership in the country. I mean, I know in my household we have guns and that are registered and uh, we have you know we have a gun that's registered because my husband's you know has has you know gone out duck hunting on occasion, uh, not very often, but he has gone out duck hunting on occasion, and you know. I don't know if it's an urban-rural divide. I think it's just a, a matter of, it's been a wedge issue that the Conservatives have used, saying you're against duck, hunter, duck hunters and farmers. When, when I, I disagree with that. I think that that became the issue more so than uh, whether or not the, you know, there are irritants within the gun registry that need, to, that need to go. And there are a lot of people in rural Canada that own, that own guns. You're absolutely right from that perspective. So I don't see that divide as much. I get spoke, you know, people from, you know, from St. John's have spoken to me about the gun registry from Mount Pearl, from Petty Harbor. But, you know, one of the things we've got to stop doing in this country is dividing everybody. We should be uniting each other in this country, you know, looking toward what we can do as a country, rather than picking, you know, the rural versus urban and, and you know, west versus east and, 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 you know, province against province. And that's what I see in this particular government that we're doing so much of. So, you know... I don't know if, it, if it's really there. I think in St. John, South Mount Pearl, and the rest of this province, uh, we, we have a, a very high gun ownership, so there was a lot, of, a lot of discussion, a lot of concern. We do have to address the irritants in the gun registry. Absolutely. It has to, has to be done sooner rather than later. But I don't, I don't like this kind of wedge politics that, that, that's happened over this issue. Well, speaking of wedge politics, are you concerned that your fellow Liberal MPs from rural ridings uh, could be in trouble because of this in the next election? Well, they work very hard in their ridings. Um, I think that they, they've proven themselves to be very strong and good members of parliament. Um, they consult their constituents, they, you know, they, they make sure that they're on the right side of this issue. And most importantly, they spent the last number of months, uh, last year actually, talking to Michael Ignatieff about the changes that are required that they heard from their constituents as to what, what are the irritants around this gun, gun registry. And they were able to convince the Liberal Party of Canada as a go-forward policy that those irritants would would go away. The fact that you know, you, you know, the, the uh, whether or not you could go to jail from the first occurrence if you were caught with an unregistered gun. Those kinds of air, you know, concerns that people, legitimate concerns that people had. And I thought they worked very, very hard. You talked about rural, our rural caucus. Well, we have a rural caucus that talked and spoke, um, you know, spoke with Michael Ignatie, spoke with the Liberal Party, and we're going to try and make those changes so that people are um, who felt there were concerns about the gun registry are more are more pleased that you know that we that they were heard and that those changes will occur. So I think they should be congratulated for the hard work that they've done personally. So how do you respond to, I, I mean, I heard some commentators on this morning saying that while the Conservatives lost the vote, they really, it, this is sort of a victory for them because now they've got an issue in the next election that's going to give them a little bit more strength in uh, rural areas that could result in a majority government for the Conservatives. Now, how do you respond to that? Well, first of all, and you, you said uh, we, we spoke early in this interview when you talked about, um, you know, is this the most important thing that Canadians want to hear from their government? I, and I, I ask, is this the most important? Here's a government that lacks uh, judgment and credibility around the economics of our country, who hasn't addressed the concerns. We have we have hundreds of thousands of more people unemployed today than we did at the last election. Hundreds of thousands. All right, isn't it? Shouldn't we be talking about employment insurance? We have seniors that are going without medication without housing, without food sometimes, and that's not the issue that we should be talking about during an election. We have, uh, I, I went down to see, uh, you know, credit counselors in, in our community. I went down to, to talk to them about what are some of the concerns, and they talk about uh, young professionals going bankrupt because they can't afford their student loans. 
aren't those the questions? You know, education, um, making sure that we have a, a compassionate and caring society, a strong economy, aren't those the issues that we should be talking about? I think the gun industry will, you know, for some it will be an important issue, but I think for Canadians it's those other issues. Caring, caring, compassion, education, the future of our country, the economy, those are the issues that I've heard from my constituents and from Canadians that they want to talk about. Mm -hmm. I just have one final question on the gun registry, and that is, what are some of the changes you would like to see? Because I've heard people say that while the registry is in place, there are still an awful lot of guns that aren't registered, a lot mm -hmm. of long guns. So, you know, how do you make it more effective? Well, I think, I think first of all, we've got to encourage people to register their long guns. We have to, we have to make sure that that's, that's part and parcel of the licensing process that you register when you buy a gun is registered. And that generally is now taking place. There are a lot of guns that are unregistered that, are, like I used the example before, a 200-year-old um, you know, heritage gun that, you, that doesn't shoot anymore and some people haven't registered them and we encourage them to do that so we have a full account um, within the country of the guns that are there. Um, so I think we, we do have to do a better job of getting out there for those kinds of things and making it easier for people to register their guns. That's critical. Making it, um, there were some people that had a concern over the fact that uh, in the original legislation, I think you you could go to jail if you were caught with an unregistered gun. You know, ensuring that the you know we 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 look at that kind of legislation to uh, because you don't want to put as as the conservatives say duck hunters in jail. That's not what this is about. This is about understanding where lethal weapons are in your country. And you know there are, there are a lot of people in the medical in medical industry, in the, the healthcare industry, in the, in the police department that talk about how useful this is. I spoke to the chief of police in St. John's. He told me they access that gun registry two hundred times a day. That's how important it is. 200 times a day. So I think we should be looking at if there are irritants, let's get rid of those irritants, but let's not throw the baby out with the wet bath water here. That's not, that's not what this is about. We're going to take another break on Issues and Answers. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.